Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final beginner tutorial video on my uh, new 2020 AutoCAD playlist, okay? So it brings tears to my eyes just a little bit, but we're moving on to bigger and better things, and I think you guys are going to be stoked for that kind of stuff too. So here we go. This is very basic. This is going to be very quick. We've already covered all of the draw tools. We've already covered most of the modify tools. We talked about dimensioning in the last video. Now we're going to talk about layers and we're going to talk about some colors and line types and that is pretty much it. Uh, later down the road, you know, maybe in my next video or so, we're going to start doing 2D drawings um, where basically you'll take all these tools that we learned and you'll just kind of build on them each time. They'll get a little bit harder, a little bit more to remember, a little bit more knowledge to, um, you know, try to bring back to each drawing as you're doing it. Um, and then we'll get into 3D stuff, and then we get into the real stuff with AutoCAD architecture, all right? So here we go, final video. Uh, let's start with the easy stuff. If I have a new document here, I'm drawing a line. Let's just say it's a 10-inch line. Um, by default, you'll see that all of these line types, okay, how thick it should be, uh, what the line should actually look like, and what color it is and what layer it's on is all just default, and it's just white. But I can change that to be whatever color I want. Uh, you can either change the color of it here, and now everything new that you draw will be that color uh, forever and ever. Or you can leave that on by layer, which is just something to do with layers that we'll talk about in a minute. Um, basically because this layer that we're drawing on, layers is just so you can stack things, kind of like in Photoshop when you put something new in. Um, but basically that layer is white, so anything that you would draw in there would be white. Um, but you can change it now and draw things all in that color or you can draw any lines or things, circles that you want, and then later on select them and make them the color that you want. Uh, you have more options than just these colors here. You could go to more colors, you could pick from a larger palette, or you could go to true color where you can put in an RGB value, or you could pick on the scale here, I guess for how dark and how light, uh, saturation hue, it's got all kinds of stuff. So you can look for any color you want. We never really use that technical of stuff. We actually don't really change the color very often. All right, so that's that. Uh, next thing, let's get rid of this stuff. If you have a line, I'm going to do a six inch line and I'm going to use my trusty offset tool to offset these by 1.5 inches and I'm going to go with five different lines. This is actually one of our drawings. You'll see this one in a couple videos. Uh, we call it the line types. Basically, the lines that we use around our title block, which is what goes around all of our drawings, it's got our name on it, it's got the date of you know the students when they do it, what period they're in, what class they're in, all that kinds of good stuff. So the thickness of that has to be 1.00. So again, you can change this thickness and then draw everything with that thickness, or you can select on that line and then change it on the fly, which is the way that I like to do it. Now you'll notice that I put a 1.00 millimeter thickness on that line, but it did not change. And that is because there is a setting at the bottom, which is of course moved in this new software. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, uh, nope. Let's see, in the old software, it looked like a little cross and one of the lines had a little bit of thickness on it. If it's not still down there, there's two options. We could click on this and see if it's in one of these and it probably is line weight. Okay, so now you'll see that that picture I was talking about is, where did that go? Line weight, line weight, line weight, show hide line weight. Oh, right here, show hide line weight. So you can turn that on. Um, the other thing you can do is you can type L weight. Sorry for the delay on that. In L weight, you could do the same thing and you could just turn on uh, display line weight. Okay, so same thing. Uh, those are, by the way, that's your global setting. So if you wanted to change to something and always draw that size, L weight is, you know, line weight is the one that you would want to do that in. Um, okay, so those are the lines that go around our title block, which we're going to make probably in our next video. The one underneath that is called a visible line, and that's the line that we use to draw everything that we're going to draw. All of the pictures and drawings and plans will be a 0.6 thickness. Okay, so it's a little bit thinner than our title block. These look really thick on the screen, but when they print out, they actually come out perfect. So it's, I think it's meant to be a little exaggerated on the screen for you. Um, this is called a construction line. A construction line is just a very basic, single, thin, white line. Um, and we're going to leave that exactly how it is. That's a construction line. Um, next one down, this is the two most popular line types that we use. One of them, and you'll see, we got colors, we got line thickness, we got line type. 
So when we drop down line type, you'll see there's not any in here, but when you go to other and then you go to load, you can load any line type you'd like. So we're going to load the hidden, let's see, where is it? Hidden X2 is one, one that we want. And then we're also going to load the one that says center X2. So we want a center line and we want a hidden line. Let's see if they all came in this software package. Center X2. Oh, you know what? We actually want the center to the 0.5x. Um, and you'll see why when you go to do it. So I'm actually going to get that hidden one out of there and reload that. I made a mistake on that. Um, we want the hidden to 0.5x. Okay, so you'll see why in a second. So hit OK. Now this one is going to be our hidden line. So we leave the thickness alone, but we go to hidden. And you'll see that you can see all of these dots here, or all these dashes. That's basically a hidden line. We use that in drawings to show something that you can't see from the normal view. So for instance, if you're in like a 3D model and you're doing the flat views of that, we call those orthographic projections. If there's something missing like a drill hole or a void or something like that that you can't see from that view, you would show that line or that edge in the back of it with a hidden line, but it's not a hard line because you can't see it from that side. So it just tells the viewer that, hey, there's something else going on on the other side. All right, uh, center line. Center line's the last one. All you do is select the line, go to center two, and you'll see right here. So basically what would have been wrong with the other ones is that they would have been too big, um, and you wouldn't have been able to see these dashes. It would have been like dash, dash. This would have been like dash, dash, right? So that's not what we want. Um, and that's why this scale is what we would have wanted. But this is a center line, and uh, this is still just that, you know, 0 0.07 millimeter or whatever the standard is. I think it's... I think it's actually 0.25 is the standard one. Um, so when it says by layer, that's just what it's set at. Um, a center line is basically to show the center of certain objects like circles, drill holes, things like that. So very simple. Okay. So these are our five line types that we use the most. Uh, we use a lot more when we get into the architecture stuff. But for, for now, this is pretty basic and this is what we want to do. Okay. All right. Last thing. You'll notice that um, there is a layer system in this software. And you could go to layer properties and that's going to show you. Let me bring that over. Where are you at? That is going, let's just make sure that we're still recording here on all fronts. Good. And we got a phone call. Okay. All right. Um, you'll notice that there's only one layer right now, and this is called the zero layer. Okay. So if you wanted to add a new layer, and the reason for this is going to be very clear in about two seconds, let's say we wanted to put our, you know, let's say we were doing a house and we wanted to put the roof on this layer. Okay. The roof, I'm going to make be a default red color, and um, I'm going to change the line weight to be, uh, or the line type can stay, but the line weight is going to be a little bit thicker than the rest of it. So that's going to be, let's just say it's the 1.00, okay? So now you'll see there's a green check next to the zero layer, which is the one that has all of this stuff already on it. And then we've got the roof layer, which is just a layer that's just sitting there right now. So what I want to do is I want to close my layer properties. I'm going to change this here to say roof, and that's going to make that my default layer. You'll see the color changes. You'll see the line thickness changes. It's just a global setting for that entire layer and everything that you draw on it, okay? So let's say I was going to draw a roof, like a roof plan here. Let's see if I can make something special here, like a little ranch roof. All right, so let's say that's my, my roof. I'm looking down at the roof um, you know, from, from the sky, okay? This is on my roof layer. If I go into this here and I click the light bulb, that's gonna turn that layer off. So it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna turn the current layer off? That's just the current layer that I'm currently drawing on. And when you do that, what happens is, yeah, it'll turn off, but anything new that I'll go to draw will not appear on the screen until I turn that layer back on and then you'll see those things that I was just drawing, okay? So most likely you're gonna wanna change this to be the layer that you're gonna continue drawing in and then you're gonna wanna go in and you're gonna turn the light bulb off uh, for the roof. Now, why do we do that? When we're doing architecture stuff and you've got the roof, you've got the walls, you've got the electric, you've got the plumbing, you've got um, structural lines, you've got the labels in the house and the notes, all of these things become very overwhelming to work on, okay? And also when we go to print them out later, we don't print out the floor plans with like every single bit of detail on them. We'll print one that shows the elevations of the house, we'll print one that shows the electrical plan, we'll show one that does the plumbing plan. So everything is separate. So you turn these on and off on the fly in order to show the things that you only wanna see. So in this case, this is not a great example because we're not even drawing a house, but if I wanted to turn the roof on and I'm doing a 3D model and I wanna be able to look into the model and, and 
work inside, I don't need that roof distracting me in front of my face. So I go ahead and turn that off. Okay, um, that's basically all that is. Now there is another thing here. Um, so there's there's two tools. One is called lay on. Okay, if you go if you have five, six, seven layers and you're turning stuff off, 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 and then you want to get everything back on, you type lay on and everything turns back on. Okay, uh, if you type lay off. That means that anything you click now, like these, it's gonna turn that layer off. This one's gonna give me that message because look, it's my default, uh, what I'm actually drawing on right now. So it's gonna say, hey, are you sure you wanna turn that off? And I'm gonna say yes, okay? But if I wanna draw something else, I'm probably gonna go to a different layer. So again, that's layer properties. All I did was I went here, I went to a new layer. You know, maybe I'd call these walls. Okay, I would change the color. You don't have to change the color, but it just keeps it easy. When everything's white, it's very confusing, okay? Um, and that's it. You know, if you want to delete a layer, you, you click on it and you hit the delete key, and, and that's pretty much the end of it. So hopefully this was a nice quick video. You guys understand layers, colors, line types, line weights. And I know that this kind of ramped up and then came back down to this really easy one, but this was stuff that I didn't want to miss because going into the next drawings, you're going to want to know all this stuff already. Okay. So thank you for listening. Jump into my new playlist now is going to be the AutoCAD 2020 2D playlist. There's still another 2D playlist that is from like the 2013 software, which you're not going to want to follow. I mean, you can if you want, but that software is dated now. So I'm going to be start, I'm going to start making new videos in this new playlist now. And this playlist is now locked down and done. So I appreciate you guys listening and watching, and I hope that you subscribed already. And I will talk to you guys and especially my students tomorrow.